What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to color denim. So what you guys see here is a picture of a pair of jeans and I left it blank so I can show you guys how to color denim. And I also kept it simple by putting it on a mannequin. You know how when you're going into a department store and you go to the clothing section and you may see some mannequins wearing department store clothing. So that's what these jeans are. So I got the feet down here and then this other part up here. So that's what those are. But anyway, when it comes to coloring denim, I'm gonna use Copic markers. And I'm gonna use just the B90s. I'm gonna use B95, B97 and B99 and I'm also going to incorporate some colored pencils. I'm using the Prismacolor colored pencils. I'm using Peacock Blue. It's PC 1027. Um, Indigo Blue. It's PC 901. And then a black. Not hard to find. So just basically a black colored pencil. But yeah, I'll be using these colors in today's video. So let's get started. So the first part's really easy. So what we're going to do is with our Copic markers, if you know how to use Copic markers, I'm just going to lay down a flat color with my B95. Okay, so next we're going to take our mid-tone, which is B97. I'm just going to go along the lines of it, add sort of, um, add like a semi shade to the jeans. All right, now we're going to go back with our B95 and just blend everything together and get rid of all these streaks. Okay, now we're gonna apply our darkest shade, which is our B99. And I'm gonna apply it towards the right hand side. So every right hand shade will be applied with our B99. Okay, and from here we can work backwards. So I just applied my B99. I'm gonna go back with B97. And apply that mid-tone one more time so I can help blend that B99. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back with my B95 and from here we should be good. When it comes to uh, blending the Copic markers. Alright, so now we got our jeans. So in terms of having Copic markers, we can set those aside for now. But we are going to keep them on the table just in case we need to add some additional shading to what we have already. So in terms of colored pencils, I have a peacock blue, a indigo blue, and a black. So first I'm going to use the uh, peacock blue. And then I'm just going to hold the pencil on its side and then just scribble in some texture very lightly because the grain from the pencil helps give those jeans some sort of texture and it kind of shows all, all the thread that's used to make the jeans and it makes it look really good in illustration Okay, you probably won't be able to see that on camera, but 
I'm hoping you do, but that's not gonna be a, too much of an issue. But now I'm gonna take my second darkest blue, which is this indigo blue, and I'm actually gonna start over here where the darkest shades are, towards the right hand side. I'm actually gonna start there. And then I'm gonna gradually work my way from the shaded portion into the main portion. So hopefully you can see this, but I'm pressing hard over here on the darkest shades. And then I'm lightening the pressure when I'm coming towards the base color. So that way I can get a good blend from this colored pencil. See, I'm getting some blend in place so far. So the marker blending that we made earlier is hard to see now. And that's exactly what we want. Because when we're adding this colored pencil on top of this marker, it's called layering. And it's also called mixed media because we're using dry media on top of wet media. which is something I do a lot on my channel. For those of you who are new. Okay, so our ultimate goal with our colored pencil is to get rid of any marker blending lines that we see, which I just finished doing. But again, with a colored pencil, sometimes you gotta focus on how much pressure you're putting onto the paper. Because maybe you want a lot of pressure, maybe you don't want a lot of pressure. But in some cases, if you're trying to make the colored pencil seen on the page, you may wanna include lots of pressure. But if you don't want lots of it seen, then keep the pressure at a low. So now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my black colored pencil and we're gonna go around the darkest shades again but instead we're gonna push a little bit harder on the black so that way it still be seen. Because this blue here, compared to the blue of the colored pencil that we just finished using, it's pretty close to the same value. So it doesn't really show much of a shade here. It shows a different kind of blue, but close to the same value. So we wanna use the black colored pencil to help darken those areas. So that way we get a good contrast going. Because this is light. This we want dark. It's already dark, but we want it even more dark. So that way it's a very good contrast going on. So coming over here to this one side, I'm actually gonna start off with a light pressure, and then I'm gonna gradually start adding more pressure, but I'm gonna keep it in the same area because I don't wanna apply too much of the black. I wanna make sure I get a good enough pressure going in this certain area. And then once I get a good pressure going, I can work my way towards here. And now we're getting some smoothness going on between the black and then this blue. And on top of that, we included texture on the shaded portion of the jeans, which is exactly what we're going for. Okay, so it looks like I covered all the darkest areas, but if there are some areas between the shades and the base color that look a little off, you can always go back to your other colored pencils, like this one is my mid-tone, so I can go back and fix a few things if I want. And the same thing with my lightest color. But that really depends on how you draw it.
present of building the All right, and that's how you color denim. And all the colors that I use in this video will pop up somewhere on the screen so you can try this out for yourself. But if you did like the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.